This sports report brought to you by Harvey Norman. Shop online, mobile or in-store today. Good evening. The federal government has flagged the Northern Territory as playing a key role in its low emissions plan through the development of a hydrogen industry. The Energy Minister identified the Territory's gas resources as a major drawcard. Better still if you have access to good natural resources in our solar. And of course you have the combination of the two as well as access to port and to export. So we do see the Northern Territory as offering some real opportunities in that area. The federal government unveiled its $18 billion framework yesterday to develop an emissions reduction target by 2035. Territory hunters rejoice with the magpie geese and waterfowl hunting season officially kicking off this morning. The daily bag limit remains at seven magpie geese and ten ducks per person per day. The season runs until the end of the year. Darwin is the envy of the nation after hosting the first concert of the year since COVID-19 restrictions. Some of Australia's biggest artists touching down in the top end with two more weekends ahead of the Reset and Rebound music festivals. After almost six months in COVID lockdowns, show after show cancelled. Finally, the drought is over Australia. It's raining festivals in Darwin. We're stupidly lucky. So excited. Nolsey kicked off the first leg of the Reset concert at the ski club on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, it was really great. A little bit muddy. It was, you know, good Darwin vibe, hot sun. This weekend, boasting more big names. I'm uh, just super stoked and excited to be performing, uh, supporting Jimmy Barnes. Then for next weekend's Rebound concert, there's a stellar liner. And the love kick starts again. Busting at the seams to get back on deck. When you look at the three weekends, it's three different kind of crowds that'll be coming. Um, you know, I love the, the people that I'm playing with. I'm friends with a bunch of them. Aussie favourite Illy spent two weeks in Howard Springs facility on his birthday just so he can take the stage. He let us use the pool once, which was a highlight. After being released on Friday, he's carved up the town. What, did you hit up Mitchell Street? Yeah, I did, twice. <laughs> <laughs> I went to most of the establishments on Mitchell Street. Embraced the heat and says it's all well worth it. People call me crazy because it's like two, two weeks in... Um, in quarantine for a 40 minute set, but it's the first show I've played in like seven months. Zarisha Bradley, Nine News. A retired diesel train has been brought back to life after 15 years in retirement, offering a new tourism draw card to Alice Springs. Named after former CLP stalwart Roger Vale, the train has become the Road Transport's Hall of Fame's latest project. The Hall of Fame hopes to get the train running as far as the Stuart Highway in the future. We could potentially run it to the highway and then to the north it only runs another two or three hundred metres to the north of here so, so maybe we've got about two kilometres of line all up at the moment. The train was originally used for freight and shunting work up until the 1980s until it was purchased by the GAN Preservation Society. More rain is on its way this weekend according to the Bureau of Meteorology. From tomorrow, storms are expected to move over the northwestern top end with between 10 to 25 millimetres predicted to fall and possibly up to 50 millimetres in isolated areas. That'll see daytime temperatures drop but hotter and drier conditions are expected to return early next week. Thank you for joining us. To stay up to date, follow 9 News Darwin on Facebook or 9news.com.au.